Hello, I'm Anthony Todd, and I'm going to show you how to calculate the acceleration for a system like so. So we have this mass hanging from a rotating disk, and I'm going to show you how to calculate the acceleration. Now, this is a very, very typical problem in advanced placement physics, general physics, um, because this is actually combining um, dynamics with Newton, so Newton's laws uh, with uh, circular motion. So we actually call this rotational dynamics. So this is rotational dynamics. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is um, I want to draw my free body diagrams for these. This is going to help us out later. So I have my, my disc and my hanging mass. Now the, the hanging mass is the simplest one. We do have little mg pulling down and there is a tension pulling up. And here on our rotating disc um, there is a normal force or tension really in this case, but I'm just going to call it a normal force to make this easier. And you have big M times G, and these two are going to be equal and opposite because your disc isn't really moving up and down. It's just stationary. But there is a tension pulling down right here on the left-hand side, and that is what's causing this object to move. Okay, And that's actually being producing a torque. Now, Newton's second law is quite simply, the summation of all the forces is equal to mass times acceleration. But um, there is another law, and it's actually Newton's uh, second law of rotation, which, you know, we don't have a force, per se, um, that actually produces a torque. And in physics, we now know for angular, we don't use mass. We actually use the moment of inertia. And the moment of inertia for a disk is one-half I, uh, sorry, sorry one-half mR squared. So I and angular, we don't use translational, I should say, acceleration. We use angular which is actually denoted with alpha, okay? So this is just for linear things, motion, and this is actually for circular, okay? So same thing, just sort of talking about different aspects or different types of motion. Okay, so we're gonna use this to actually solve for our uh, translational acceleration, okay? So with understanding this, torque, well, torque in physics is just force times radius. So the first thing you understand is, well, what's causing a torque on this system? Well, that is the mg of this little block here. It's producing a force about a radius, and this is our radius right here. So we actually have, which is over here, a, a tension in this case that's applying this. Um, and we'll call that T R. Okay, so this tension right here over this radius equals I, well the I in this case is just one half MR squared, big M, put big M, times alpha. Well alpha, well, eh, well let's just say linear acceleration is equal to R alpha. Well alpha is just A over R. And right here we can see that a lot of things will actually cancel out. This R cancels out with this, and then this R cancels out with that R. So we actually can derive an equation for tension with one half m a, and we can simplify that as big A times, or sorry, big M times a all over two. Okay, so that's what our tension equals. Okay, so that's when we analyze, uh, I should say, uh, this block here. So now let's look at this block. If we do Newton's laws for it, well, quite frankly, that's just f equals m a. The system's going down, so we'll make this a positive. That would be a negative. So you have little m times g minus t equals ma. Well, we can see here that we do have a, a unit of t right here, and we also have a variable t here. And so if we know what t is on this side, which is just big M a over 2, we can actually take this and plug it in right there. Okay, And that's what we're going to do. Okay, And this is going to help us solve for the acceleration of our system. So this gives me mg minus big M A all over two equals little m times A. Okay, remember we used little m because we were talking about the hanging block, and over here we used big M because we were talking about the, the mass of the pulley, okay? So now here I wanna solve for A, and I see I have an A here and here, so I wanna get these on the both on the same side. So I'm gonna rewrite this as mg is equal to M A plus M A over two. Two, sorry, that is big M. Big M 
times a over 2. And we can see here we have an a and we can factor that out. So I'm going to move this over here. So we have mg is equal to a times little m plus big M all over 2. And now solving for acceleration, we can divide both sides by this. And we actually get this. mg is equal to little m plus big M all over 2. And that will give us our acceleration. All right. I hope this helped, and this is a very, very common problem in physics. And if so, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more physics content. Thank you. Have a good day.